2020 project on uh, mental health in the workplace. And we've done uh, many activities, uh, even uh, despite the pandemic, uh, and we implemented uh, different type of interventions. Uh, we collected data, we evaluated uh, results, and today we will have the opportunity to share some key learnings and outcomes of this uh, collaborative effort. The workplace is a place uh, in which uh, most adults spend uh, a large portion of their lives uh, and it plays an important role to influence uh, health behavior and outcomes. And in this project, uh, I remember when I was reading the call, I was very intrigued uh, by the fact that this project was not about uh, explaining uh, uh, risk factors for uh, health risks, but it was about implementing innovative interventions to explore innovative methods, and I think uh, we achieved uh, this objective. We have brought together in the consortium different type of uh, academic institutions, disciplines, uh, health experts, uh, but also we've been able to attract uh, small and medium enterprises uh, and employee employers in the public sector. Uh, we, um, yesterday we had a consortium meeting in which we shared our ideas about the impact uh, that we achieved, uh, but also how we can maximize uh, the impact also uh, after the end of this project. Uh, I think uh, we uh, gained uh, a lot of knowledge and today we share also with the other experts uh, um, the best practice uh, that we um, investigated. And today the program uh, will be also composed by two keynote speakers. The first uh, is Frank Krauser from the TNO in the Netherlands. That uh, he will talk about uh, change, changing work, changing workload and changing workers. And then online we will have Sara Toxic from the European Agency of Safety and Health at Work about the new challenges uh, in psychosocial risk prevention. And also we invited some member of advisory board and uh, other stakeholders uh, in our community to discuss uh, uh, the impact of our project. Uh, you are uh, highly invited also to, to join us for the final cocktail and mocktail and greetings uh, at the end of, the, of this uh, day here in the ground. So, I will uh, now pass the floor to Professor Dan uh, Brady, uh, our Vice Director for Research, for the welcome address. Thank you, thank you, Professor Dan. Thank you, Luca. Uh, good morning, everyone. It is me a great pleasure to welcome you here on behalf of the University of Bologna, on behalf of our Rector, Giovanni Tonali, for the final meeting, uh, the final event of this uh, age World project. And uh, let me first express my gratitude again to the coordinator of the project, uh, to all the uh, partners, the representatives of the partners that are present today, and to the, uh, to the speakers, and particularly to the two keynote lectures that uh, will bring us uh, a valuable contribution today. So, this work uh, is an important initiative for our university because it's a core project coordinated by us, it's a large initiative. Uh, three and a half years, uh, uh, nine partners, no, 14 partners from nine different countries, so it's our last network. Uh, that, uh, despite the, the COVID, the pandemic, the project was uh, started uh, one month before, if I understand correctly, the pandemic exploded uh, here in Italy, and you already know that Italy pandemic was really a serious, uh, serious thing. And so the goal of the project is to promote mental health in workplaces uh, and public organization and the small movement of crisis. And again, despite the pandemic, uh, the project was uh, implemented through more than 40 uh, actions across Italy, Germany, Czech Republic, Spain, and the Netherlands, involving over 1,500 people that, uh, as far as I understood, participated with great enthusiasm in the initiative. Um, I don't want to mention the numerous achievements of the project because this will be described uh, in, the, in the next sessions. But let me jump, if you recall, uh, the, the innovation platform, which I appreciated. The export innovation platform, a digital tool that offers services and resources to employers and managers to effectively address the challenges related to mental health at work. 
and this impact of performance and cost. Because uh, although nowadays employers and their management usually are aware of these problems, but it happens frequently that they don't have the tools uh, to efficiently address them. So it's uh, important that this project is bringing about, uh, let's say, support in this regard. In general, we believe that uh, the protection of health and safety of workers is of crucial importance nowadays in a period of uh, rapid transformation of the, of the job market, of the professional industrial activities. And I think that, uh, you know, we hear uh, uh, frequently speaking about uh, the digital transition, but I think that it will be very hard to fully implement the game of digital transformations if the well-being is not guaranteed at all levels for working organization. And if being defined and that conditions are not available to everyone. So thanks to the research of age work, new methodologies for prevention, for training, for qualification that being developed, which can now set the base for practical guidelines for stakeholders and policy makers across Europe. Besides these three outputs, in terms of uh, third mission, which is then what we need for, let's say, the exploitation of research for the progress of uh, society and economics, uh, the activity of the project has also been uh, integrated in teaching, in teaching modules, so that our students can experience through simulations the challenges that they might uh, uh, face uh, one day in their profession. Um, another point that I would like to, to stress, uh, which is important for our university, is the value of collaboration, particularly transnational collaboration, and even, say, more specifically on a topic uh, that can greatly benefit from the diverse experiences in different countries and for, from the exchange uh, of uh, new practices. So this is a really significant point of, uh, for our university. I'm really pleased that, that the project was able to gather together uh, such a, let's say, high level network. I'm very pleased to see today many people, representatives of national and European institutions, agencies, and academic partners. Let me conclude because I don't want to steal much time to the program again by expressing my gratitude to the coordinator, to the local organizers, to all the participants to the project, and also to the contributors, the speakers of today, particularly the two invited lectures that I really thank for, for their presence here. Um, I have to apologize, I will not be able to stay for uh, the sessions, but I have to walk back to the rectorate. and unfortunately my schedule is always quite busy, but uh, again I wish you a very fruitful day and I hope that we will also have a chance uh, to enjoy our city. According to the calendar is already full, but as you can see it's still <laughs> full summer, Sunday. so really thank you for your presence and uh, uh, have a joy and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Alberto Credi, our Vice Director for Research at the University of Bologna. Now I will uh, pass the floor to the Head of the Department of Psychology, Professor Aguirre Spagnano. Thank you, Lucas. Welcome to everybody. I'm very glad to be here. It's a pleasure to be here today with you. The welcome from the Department of Psychology, University of Bologna, which is Coordinator of the, of the symposium together with the Department of Communication and Professor in the game. And um, the project, I think the project uh, H work significantly contributes to a social message key issue. Uh, it's a mental health in organization uh, in today's post COVID society, which is facing enormous transformation as we've seen into economic and you know, technological transformation and into any other. Many other transformation, the challenge in the capacity is to produce for the patient. An impact on the health of mm -hmm. the people. And we know that organization, and you know very well, it was an expert on that, including world organization, are able to people that can function well, people are healthy, and they can enjoy the deep feelings of membership, evolution, and the satisfaction of their work. So they are the basics for the health organization. Taking care of the people is fundamental for the health of the organization and society. And uh, this project, as uh, has already been mentioned by uh, also uh, the speakers before the, the way I've been uh, introduced at the conference, offers the city makers a range of and other a range of other supporters, important information, resources, tools, and hopefully significantly contributing to the improvement of the health of our world colleagues. I could follow this 
project over its development in the, in the last years uh, by observing the, 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 the work and the achievements uh, of our colleagues and, uh, and what the kinds of the resources made available to the project from the European Commission and from a group of, and I could see a group of active and smart motivated young researchers who could grow <laughs> thanks to the, the, this project in the Department of Psychology and also the Department of Education. And so we are now uh, pursuing their careers and also uh, strengthening and improving the, the, the knowledge, scientific knowledge, and also the, the contribution in terms of interventions that we can, we can adopt to address the, the problems of uh, in the, the world context. And, uh, and also, I, it's important to underline the contributions of the psychological disciplines in, uh, together with other disciplines. That is an important uh, source of knowledge and also uh, elements of for improving the quality of interventions for, for uh, our world complex. And uh, I think also the capacity to grow and uh, to develop young researchers and the resources of the world is an important output in terms of impact also of the project. So uh, I think also myself because I have to go as a, a, a vice rector because we have uh, other meetings, but I want to thank the, 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 the organizers, Luca Antonio and the whole team and other members of the consortium for organizing this event. And uh, I uh, am sure that it will be a very successful opportunity for sharing uh, knowledge, for sharing tools, for sharing uh, best practices that can and you improve your work in, uh, in, uh, in your everyday life as researchers and practitioners and uh, and policy makers that can uh, take advantage of the messages and the, the, the contribution that uh, will be provided by the, the project in, uh, in terms of improving the quality of life uh, the world has. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you to Professor Alviera Cicognani, the head of our department. And now I will pass the floor to Sergio Rogiudice of the Metropolitan City and the Delegate for Labor. Thank you. Thank you, Luca. Everyone, it's my honor to present the briefings on behalf of the city of Bologna and Mayor Matteo Reconi at this important event. When we talk about work, we tend to refer to rights and duties, and little about the quality or mental and physical health of workers. Unfortunately, today's work organizations don't always provide the best protections to its employees. Recognizing that people spend so much of their lives at work, a safe and healthy work environment is essential. We need to invest in building a culture of mental health and prevention at work. And to do so, we need to restructure the current uh, work environment. I think that welcoming your conference in, in Bologna is not coincidence. Bologna is maybe the Italian city where most people look at work through the logic of quality and innovative tools. We have put in place some tools that aimed at countering exploitative work, jobs where little attention is given to ensure the well-being of the individual. Metropolitan City of Bologna has promoted the Metropolitan Charter for Ethical Logistics, signed by 30 territorial actors, including the Prefecture of Bologna, Labor Inspectorate, Health Authority, and all major employer associations and trade unions. The Charter enshrines a shared commitment on the fronts of safe training and the application of contracts signed by the most representative labor associations at the national level. Protocols are active for the main production sites in strategic areas of our territory, in the port or airport, the bus station and so on. The principal, the principal message pertains to quality of work, safety, short supply chain procurement, and sustainable, sustainable mobility. 
we have introduced a mechanism whereby for every new company that sets up in the metropolitan territory, there will be an agreement made on the issue of labor quality. The municipality of Bologna, the metropolitan city, and unions of municipalities are also entities that can greatly impact the quality of work produced through the contracting of service and works. This is why a public protocol is being drafted to ensure the quality of the procurement chain. Thank you for the opportunity to do this overview. I want to leave you with the message that the administration is supportive of the efforts you have put into your studies and extends the availability to collaborate on this initiative and promote work as mental health in the workplace. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, to Sergio Giudice, the de Delegate for Labour of the Metropolitan City of Bologna, and thank you for accepting our invitation. And now it's uh, the time of Professor Santo Di Nuovo from the University of Catania. As you can see from the program, uh, this uh, event has been included in the European Semester of Psychology uh, of Italy, and I will leave the floor to Professor Santo Di Nuovo. Good morning, good morning to you all. As president of the Italian Network of Psychological Associations and of the Italian Association of Psychology, I am very pleased to welcome the participants, both in person and online, to this meeting open today in Bologna. The Health at Work project funded by the European Union's Horizon 2020 was aimed to promote mental health in workplaces by means of multi-level assessment and intervention, providing a policy recommendation for workers, health professionals, and, and policy makers. May you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, during its development, the project promoted and evaluated individual and organizational outcomes as innovative products and services, also based on advanced technologies. The project was managed by a consortium of several European universities and operational partners with the cooperation of EFPA and of the European Network for workplace health promotion. Many publications and deliverables have been produced, among these, the Mental Health at Work platform, products of great scientific and social relevance to ensure the health and the well being of European workers through research and application of psychology. I am proud that this is coherent, fully coherent with the main goals of our association, Italian association, to ground up psychology scientifically sound and useful for society. We are here for the grand finale. <laughs> the the H-Work conclusive meeting was included among the events for the European semester held in Italy from August to December of the current year. Therefore, on behalf of uh, Italian Network of Psychological Association, I thank Bruna Zani and Luca Pietro Pietrantoni and all the organizers. And I wish all uh, the participants good work. I regret that I cannot be present in, in Bologna uh, in person for family reasons, but I will follow the meeting online. Welcome, everyone, and enjoy the meeting. Thank you. Thank you to uh, Santo Di Nuovo, the president of the Italian Network of Psychologist Associations, IMPA, and for uh, um, being very supportive in including this event in the European Semester of Psychology in Italy. So thank you very much to Professor Di Nuovo.